All right, so there is the old stock 2021 GMC Sierra AT4 front bumper taken off the truck. And here is the new bumper. This is called a Stealth Fighter. I got this through four wheel parts here in town. And it just looks freaking awesome. A lot thicker steel versus the stock one. And I also wanted a little bit more or less bumper right here. Kind of tuck it in right up here on the lip so you got a little bit better approach angle. It utilizes the stock parking sensors and crash sensors. And I tested it out today and it works. <laughs> and they wanted to charge me $1,500 for a light bar. And I said, whoa, 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 whoa. this bar is already $2,400. And I went with a Rough Country one, which has that concave curved bar. I think this was 350 bucks. And that thing is stupid freaking bright. Stupid bright. Off-road use only. As you can see, it has two clevis points right there. Clevis, whatever, however you pronounce them. And I've got, I had my red D-rings. And it just doesn't look right now. So I've got some Rhino heavy-duty D-rings on order. Black ones. And it'll fit right in here. It looks like they use, let me, let's just go right down here while I'm down here. It has a skid plate that goes all the way back. No winch. It has cutouts for more lights right here. You just take these off with, looks like Allen head wrenches. Light kind of sits recessed in there a little bit. But this is, that's a solid freaking bumper. <laughs> And it looks like they used um, grade eight or nine bolts to bolt this sucker on. You can see right down there. Isn't that cool? That is so freaking nice. It looks kind of wonky, this line right here. But it tucks up nicely right here, which is kind of cool. Kind of an angle thing. And the last thing I want to do is these fog light bezels. These need to be either plastic dipped or shadow blacked. Because if you look at the truck now, it just doesn't look right, in my opinion. I gotta shadow those dogs out. The fog, the, uh, I don't know what you call these things, spotlights, I guess. They turn on with a push button. There's a they, they installed a switch right on the uh, left side of me there. And it has a red off and green light. This is a simple position switch. Uh, but I like it. I kind of wish they would have done a, and I did ask, about doing a relay. So when I turn on the headlights, you know, the high beams, these come on. Low beams, no. No. That way I can have the fog light low beams on. And then when I hit the high beams, high beams come on and these come on. <laughs> so, I don't know if that's even legal. But, <laughs> whatever, right? So there you have it. I thought I'd show you this. But the first thing I noticed, I'll be honest with you, how heavy duty this thing is. How thick of steel compared to the stock bumper. And that thing barely weighs... Crap, not very much. Maybe 40 pounds, 50 pounds. Uh, not heavy at all. I mean, I, I lift weights, and it's it's not that heavy a material. Very thin steel. Whereas this is just rock and roll. Heavy, heavy, heavy. All right, I hope this helps out the next guy or gal who wants to spruce up their truck. And if you have any questions, let me know. I did a lot of work here in the past couple months get this truck looking cool riding much better with all these mods
pretty cool stuff. All right, I'll let you go. Stay nice and cool.